from Boris Ali, led by their captain, Michael Ryan. Here we have Dickie Stakelam, Connor Stakelam, playing in his first county final. We have the Boris Ali team. In goes Nolly Maher, right corner back, Michael Ryan. Full back, Timmy Stapleton. Left corner back, Francis Spillane. Right half back, Richard Stakelam. Centre back, Jerry Stapleton. And on the left is Bobby Ryan. Centre field. A change from the original programme. Timmy Ryan is at centre field with Francis Collins. The half forward line, Aidan Ryan. Centre forward, Noel Odewire. And left half forward, Connor Stakelin. Uh, right corner forward, Michael Cohen. Full forward, Philip Kenny. And left corner forward, John McGrath. There is also a couple of changes, positional changes on the Killer One team. We will give them them to you when they um, line up for the match. Fine crowd here at Temple Stadium, Thurles, for the 1986 Tipperary County Senior Hurling Final. And there we have the Boris Lee mascot. Hey! Tell him. And there we have out in the centre of the field the Boris mascot. This is the cock. This uh, cock was got by Tom Tierney for the big occasion. He's obviously is been on the Boris panel in 1983 and again on in, in 1981. The uh, result of the minor game is a draw match between uh, McCarkey and McCarkey and Tommy Vara. We'll give you some uh, statistics on some of the Boris Lee players. Uh, Michael Ryan, age 26, occupation farmer. Michael has won Arctic Cup and All Ireland Colleges medals with Templemore CBS in 1978. He also won a Rice Cup. Uh, Munster under 14 medal in 74. Corn Podrick Munster under 15 and a half in 1975. And 1976 medal with the same school. North Tipperary Junior Hurling uh, medal 1976, along with another player on this team, uh, Francis Milan and Bobby Ryan. He also won two county senior hurling medals in 1981 and 1983. In addition, Michael has won two Munster and All Ireland under 21 medals with Tipperary in 80 and 81. And another one of the Boris Lee team, probably the oldest player on the team, Noel the Wire, occupation sales manager. Noel, the veteran of the team, has won one Munster and All Ireland senior hurling medal. On the last occasion, Tipperary won the All Ireland in 1971. He had also won one National League medal in 1979. Two Octus medals in 1970 and 72. Two Railway Cup medals with Munster in 1970 and 76. Two All Ireland Seven Aside medals in 1976 and 78. The year 1981 was a great year for Noel when he won the Man of the Match award for his display in the county final and also the Player of the Year sponsored by Nina Gard. In 1983, in the 1983 county final, Noel also won the Man of the Match award. Noel had the distinction with other members of the Tipperary team in 1972 and playing a visit to San Francisco to play exhibition games against the Carl's All-Stars. And now the team parades behind the McCarkey Pipe Band, led by Boris Lee captain Michael Ryan and Tony Shepard for Killer One. Mick Owen, of course, is the same age as uh, Noel Odewire. His occupation is a fitter, welder, contractor. Michael has won one or this medal in 1972. In the same year, he was a member of the Tipperary Senior Hurling Team, which won the Gary Owen Cup in the Wembley Tournament. At club level, Michael has won five 
senior divisional medals in 71, 73, 76, 81, 83. And he has also won three county final medals in 71, 81 and 83. Aidan Ryan, who plays uh, uh, right half forward for Boris Lee today, his occupation is a carpenter joiner. Aidan won a Rice Cup medal with Templemore CBS in 1978, under 16 Munster Hurling Championship medal with uh, North Tipperary in 1981, an All Ireland Minor Hurling medal with Tipperary in 82. He won an All Ireland under 21 Hurling medal in 81, and also a North Tipperary Senior Hurling and County medal as a member of the Boris Lee team in 1983. Aidan, of course, is a brother of uh, left half-back Bobby Ryan, who captained the Tipperary team in the centenary, uh, centenary year here in Semple Stadium. Okay. And now the teams come up, turn around to come up under the stand here, straight in front of us. And the atmosphere, I can tell you, under, under is, uh, is electric. Kilarawana are reigning North Champions, County Champions, Munster Club Champions and All-Ireland Club Champions. Boris Lee's two mascots along with the cock for today are Shane, Shane Tierney and of course um, Aidan Cohen, or yes Aidan Cohen. And as the team break away Timmy Stapleton gets back into his position. Boris Lee seemed to be playing into the town goal and Killer One into the Kalina end goal. In a fight. Atta the unfortunate on Francis Collins on Joe Bannon and Timmy Ryan, centre of the field on Ken Hogan. The referee with the ball on the ground. He throws it in <coughs> and Boris Lee are first to break away with Timmy Ryan. And the ball goes to Noel the wire. The stalemate in around the centre of the field. The ball comes out to the side of the field where Gilbert Williams has it. He sends it in towards the Boris Lee goal. Timmy Stavlin puts up his hand for it and gets a great... blocks it well. He sends it out to the side of the field where it goes to Francis Collins. He's, beat, he's beaten illegally by number 15, uh, Philip Quinlan, and it's a free to Boris Lee. About 90 yards out, free by Richard Stakelin. Sends a low ball over towards Connor Stakelin. Ball goes into John McGrath. And he keeps it in play. Comes over where Connor Stakelin is fighting for it. It comes out to Endo Hogan. John Cahill has the ball. He gets a clearance up, up the centre, up towards Jerry Stapleton and Jim Williams. Jerry has the ball. He sends it over towards Timmy Ryan and the Hogan. Bobby Ryan has the ball. And it's a go to this side of the field where Aiden Ryan, Aiden Ryan is going for it. 
And also Mick Cohen and Seamus Gibson with the ball's gone out over the line. It's a line ball for Killer One. Game has started lively enough. <coughs> Seamus Gibson. Line ball, where it's blocked by Aiden Ryan. It goes to Mick Cohen. Mick has the ball. Sends it over to Aiden Ryan. Aiden has it about 40 yards out. He sends a ball in towards the goal. Tony Shepherd gets it. He sends it out towards the centre of the field. Comes between uh, out to Jerry Stapleton. Jerry gets it up along this side of the field. It goes up to Connor, where Connor Stakeham goes for it. Connor has lost his hurley and he's still in fighting. The ball goes up along the side, far side of the field. It's gone out over the line. It's a line ball to, I think, to Boris Ali. Oh no, it's a line ball to Killer Owen. To be taken by the right corner back, John Cal. Left handed, he comes up to it. Sends a low one up along the side of the field. Where out comes Michael Ryan for the ball. Has it, he passes it to Francis Villard. Francis sends a long ball, a high ball, in towards the Killer Owen goals. Or John McGrath goes for it. Goes to Mick Cohen. Mick Cohen has it 21 yards out. Sends a low ball. It's not gone out over the line yet. Seamus Gibson sends it out towards this, towards Timmy Ryan. Where Timmy Ryan gets it. In towards Connor Stakelin. 40 yards out from the goals. Sends a high ball. And it's gone, it's gone wide, just barely gone wide. First chance of a score there for Connor Stakelin. <coughs> Shepherd takes the puck out, sends it out towards this side of the field. Out goes Fran Aiden Ryan has the ball, he sends it out over the line, it's the line ball for Killer Owen. Uh, cut in by Gilbert Williams in there, but Timmy Stapleton has the ball. Timmy having a great game at full back. Ball goes to Francis Collins. He lets it in towards, in towards uh, John McGrath. And the ball goes harmlessly by. Boris Lee are inclined to let the ball in very high in towards the goal instead of letting it in low. But of course it shouldn't have been let wide anyway. As Tony Shepard comes up to take the puck out. Gets it. Good long puck. Bobby Ryan box it down. It's along the ground. It comes to Connor Stakelin. Uh, Joe Benahan has the ball. He's, he's beaten by an old wire. Locked down by an old wire. Ball comes to Philip Kenny. Philip, 40 yards out from the goals. He's going through. He takes a shot and it's the first score of the game. A point for Philip Kenny from 30 yards out. Philip seems to be operating uh, 30 yards out from the Killer One goal. The ball comes out to the centre of the field where Aidan Ryan has the ball. He sends it in toward where Michael Hogan has it. He's blocked by Connor Stakelin. Michael, Michael Cahill, or John Cahill goes back to the ball. Sends it in, Bernal Dwyer has the ball, 30 yards out from the killer one goal. He tries to round Seamus Gibson. Ball goes over to Mick Cohn. Mick Cohn has the ball. Sends it in low, well stopped by she Shepard. Out to where Francis Collins and Francis Collins gets it. Sends it, it goes out over the line off of uh, killer one man. And it's a line ball for Boris Lee to be taken by Connor Stakelin. Boris Lee doing a lot of pressing here in the first 10 minutes of the game, inside 10 minutes of the game. Richard Thakelin to take the line ball. About 60 yards out. He sends a high one. A good cut in towards Connor Stakelin. But the ball goes to Philip Kenny. Philip has it. Sends it in towards Mick Cohn. 
Tony Shepard has it. Tony evades Michael Cohen and sends the ball out towards the middle of the field. Where Francis Collins goes for it. He lets the ball run. Ender Hogan has it. He sends it in towards uh, Francis Milan and Paolo Williams. Paolo Williams gets the ball over it. Where it goes to Philip Quinlan. Philip lets it across the goals. It comes to Richard Stakeland. Richard Stakeland gets the ball out towards the centre of the field. And Endo Hogan has it. He sends it back in towards Philip Quinlan. Philip loses the ball. He sends it over towards Jerry Williams. Jerry has it. 30 yards out. It's a score. It's a draw game. Scored out by Jerry Williams. And the score was about eight minutes gone. Boris Lee, one point. Killer one, one point. Nolly Maher sends a high ball. But Joe Bannon blocks it. Comes to Richard Stakelin. Out of, out of Richard Stakelin's leg. It's a line ball for uh, Killer one. Richard might have been better off trying to let the ball go first time instead of putting his hand down for it. Right, we have a line ball here for Killer one. Gilbert Williams sends a low ball. Goes in towards Eamon O'Shea. Eamon O'Shea, 30 yards out from the... And the ball has gone harmlessly wide. Or is it a free out? Free out for Boris Lee. <coughs> free out to be taken by Richard Daiklam. Or no, by Nolly Maher. Nearly Nolly, a long ball. Over towards Connor Stakelam and it goes into Timmy Ryan. And he sends it into me Cohen. That's a free out. Michael held the ball too long. And it's a good chance there for Boris Lee. It's a free out for Killer One. by Tony Shepard. <coughs> Lifts it, sends it out towards <coughs> Borussia half back line. It's cracked down by Bobby Ryan. Ball comes to Noel the wire. Out to Connor Stakelin. Connor lets it go along the ground. Philip Kenny. Philip has the ball. 40 yards out from the killer line goal. He beats John Cal. Sends a high ball. It sends it wide. There's a good chance there for Philip. Philip getting an awful lot of possession. He's bringing out um, Jim o uh, Dini O'Mara. Well out into the centre uh, centre half back line, giving Dinny an awful lot of trouble, but not getting the scores as yet. Had a couple of good opportunities. Tony Shepherd pucks the ball out. It's down between Jerry Stapleton and Jim Williams. And Richard Stakelin has the ball. Richard having a great game. The ball comes up between John McGrath. But Tony Shepherd comes out. Sends a long ball over to the side of the field where Bobby Ryan goes up for it. He loses it. The ball goes off Michael Ryan's hand. Uh, it's a line ball for Killer One. Michael Hogan comes up to take this line ball. Oh, he takes a long couple of steps out. It's a low one out towards. where Joe Banahan gets it. It comes to Jerry Stable. And Bobby Ryan. Bobby Ryan gets it along the ground. Out towards Aidan Ryan and all the wire. And all the wire gets it. Where are you? Oh, there's a lot of mess in there with Aidan Ryan. Aidan Ryan is still going through. And Killer One throw the ball around again as Joe Banahan gets the ball up, to, up towards the Borough City back line. Where Michael Ryan has it. It comes out towards uh, Jim Williams. He sends it over towards Jerry Williams. Over to, uh, over to Jim Williams again, and the ball's gone over the bar. It's a, it's a lead for Killer One. Killer One, two pints. Boris Lee, one pint. 
to go on or get throwing the ball around again as they did in the in our semi-final. Comes out to her, Connor Stakelum. Where was the lead forwards looks up to the ground at the moment. Jerry Stanley gets the ball to this side of the field. That must be a clash ball. Yes, the linesman puts up for a clash ball. In between Francis Collins and Joe Vanahan. The ball goes in towards Timmy Stapleton. Timmy gets the ball out to this side of the field, out to Francis Villan. Francis is pushed off the ball, the ball goes out over the line. It's a line ball to Killer Owen. Joe Banahan comes up to take the line ball. <laughs> Joe Banahan gets the ball and lower. Jerry Stapleton has it. Jim Williams gets it back out to Joe Banahan. And Joe Banahan sends the ball harmlessly wide. Very poor shot from Joe Banahan there. out by Nolly Maher. Comes out this side of the field. No the wire has it, but it comes to Jim Jim Willow, Jim uh, O'Mara. Francis Bellan and Philip Quinlan go for it. Philip Quinlan has the ball. He gets it in to where Michael Ryan goes for it. Michael Ryan gets the ball. He sends it he sends it out towards Bobby Ryan. Bobby gets the ball low and towards the centre of the field where Aidan Ryan goes for it. He goes to Francis Collins. Francis has the ball 70 yards out from the killer one goal. Gets the ball in towards Mick Cohn and the ball goes harmlessly wide. Boris Lee, uh, inside forward line especially their corner forward seem to be staying out too far out the field. Shepard takes the puck out. Timmy Ryan blocks it down. Goes down where Jim O'Mara has it. Pass it down to Joe Banahan. Joe Banahan gets it in towards uh, where uh, Francis Lamb blocks it out. Comes out to Joe Banahan again. But it runs through to Aidan Ryan. Aidan Ryan has the ball. He beats two killer one man. He's on the 70 yard line. Ball goes out to Noel the wire. Noel the wire. Turns around. Sends a high ball in towards the killer of one goal. And Tony Shepard gets the ball out towards the centre of the field. Or Dickie Stakel gets it. A tremendous catch by Dickie. Sends it back in towards the killer of one goal. Where Philip Kenny has the ball. Timmy, um, Endo Hogan has the ball. He's gone. Bobby Ryan goes to him. Ender Hogan gets the ball up to the far side of the field. Or Michael Ryan and uh, Jim Williams has the ball. But he's blocked by Jerry Stapleton. Jerry having a fine game at centre back. Jerry sends the ball up to this side of the field where Noel Dwyer goes for it. <coughs> Noel and Jim Williams. Ball goes to Philip, Philip Kinney. Out to Aidan Ryan. Aidan Ryan, 40 yards out, 50 yards out. Sends a high ball. Yes, a draw game. Uh, a lovely point there, a pass from Philip Kenny. He sent the ball into Aidan Ryan and he got a lovely score. Score two points to Killer One, two points to Boris Lee. Tony Shepard takes the puck out. Our Jerry is named and Francis Milan has the ball. Comes to it, he's a, he pulls on it but misses it. And it's a line ball to Killer One. ball to Killer One to be taken by Gilbert Williams. Gilbert takes a nice ball. Ball goes to Jerry Williams. 
Jerry takes his shot, but it's gone wide. We've got opportunity there for Jerry Williams to get the lead for Killer One. Fifteen minutes gone in the first half. Nolly, Nolly Maher takes a long puck out. Comes to uh, Philip Kenny. Philip. He gets the ball across to John McGrath. John McGrath has the ball. And John sends a nice ball, but it's gone wide, just harmlessly wide. There's a lot of watermen around the field, it looks as though. Lads are getting very dry. The sun is shining very brightly down there. Tony Shepard takes the puck out. Timmy Ryan blocks it down. Comes to Aidan Ryan. Connor Stakelin. And it goes to Joe Benahan. But Timmy Stapleton has the ball. Timmy having a great game for Boris at fullback. To Aidan Ryan. Sends it on towards Philip Finney. Philip traps the ball. He rounds his man. He rounds the Nimara. Has a shot. And the ball has gone over the bar. Nice goal there from Philip Kenny. The lead again. Then Gaynor seems to be going into uh, Jim O'Mara there to get him to shake himself, or Dini O'Mara to get him to shake himself. <laughs> Tony Shepard takes the puck out. Locked down by Aidan Ryan. To John McGrath. John McGrath gets the ball in towards Dole Dwyer. <laughs> Thought Noel could have chased it a bit more. Probably a lower ball at suit. No more than too much of a high ball. Tony Shepard again takes the puck out. Boris seemed to be doing most of the pressing in the first half. Timmy Ryan blocks it down. Down to John McGrath. John McGrath lets it in low, into Philip Kenny. Kenny O'Mara has the ball. Sends it out towards centre of the field. Her dick is, dick, uh, is beaten by Philip Quinlan. Philip gets his foul. There's a free for Killer Owen to be taken by Gilbert Willems. Right on the centre of the field. Sends a high ball. But it's gone wide. Gilbert doesn't usually miss them ones from that range. And still, Boris Lee ahead, three pints to kill her ones, two. Only Maher takes the puck out. Drops between John McGann and Jim O'Mara. Ball comes out to the centre of the field. Aidan Ryan goes for it. And Francis Collins. Francis Collins gets the ball in towards Mick Cole. Out to Philip Kenny. Philip Kenny sends a great point. Yes, lovely pass there from Mick Cole to Philip Kenny and a beautiful point. Francis Collins doing an awful lot of hatchet work in the middle of the field himself and Timmy Ryan. Of course, Aidan Ryan doing a lot of work as well. Tony Shepard takes the puck out with Boris Lee leading by four points to two. <laughs> Boris doing an awful lot of ground hurling as John McGrath gets the ball in towards Philip Kinney. Phillips lets it run on. To where does knowing running on for it? It goes to Gilbert Williams. Gilbert sends it up. Out to Jerry Williams. To number 13. He sends it over the bar. Number 13 for Killer One is Pat Quinlan. <coughs> Nolly Maher takes a quick puck out. Out to where um, it goes to Noel Dwyer. Noel sends the high ball across the goals. And there's a bit of Argon going on there between Mick Conan and uh, Seamus Gibson. 
Mick seems to have got the better of that one. The referee goes in to sort this one out. There's an awful lot of spectators in around the field with water. I wonder will they be showing this on the big match tonight. Tony Shepard takes the puck out to this side of the field. It breaks loose. Eight and nine goes for him. Or Timmy Ryan goes for him as well. It comes to Francis Collins. Jim Williams gets the ball out towards. But Bobby Ryan has it. Bobby sends a high ball down towards Mick Cohn and Seamus Gibson. Ball comes to Philip, uh, Philip Kenny. Comes out to the middle of the field where Endo Hogan has it. And then sends a high ball up into the air. Jerry Stapleton gets the ball, but Hinda Hogan hits it out towards Jerry Stapleton again. Jerry, a high ball in towards all the wire. But uh, Seamus Gibson gets the ball out towards the centre of the field where, where um, Jerry Williams has it, and he was fouled by Timmy Ryan. Free on the killer one side of the halfway line. Free by Gilbert Williams. He bends it. He strikes. In towards the Boris Lee goals. And the ball goes over the bar. A great pull there by, I think it was, um, uh, Jim Williams. Good pint for killer one. No only matter, takes the puck out, out to this side of the field again. Francis Collins has the ball. He beats Gilbert Williams. Free to be taken by Richard Stakelin. Richard on the halfway line, on the 70 yard line. Richard usually very accurate from this sort of range. Strikes it. Sends a high ball and it's over the bar. Great point by Richard Stakelin from 70 yards out from the Kirawan goals. And now Boris Lee go into a five points to four lead. There's a little over five minutes left in the first half. Puck out by Tony Shepard. Jerry Stapleton has the ball. Jerry having a great game. Jerry pulls on it again, up towards Noel the wire. <coughs> Noel is beaten by John Cahill. Out towards Joe Banahan. Joe Banahan gets it up towards Eamon O'Shea and Michael Ryan, but Timmy Stapleton comes out. Timmy out into the centre of the field. Or he loses the ball. Where Francis Villan has it. Out to Philip Finlan. Philip, 30 yards out. He's beaten by, uh, 21 yards out, beaten by Richard Stakelin. Ball comes across to Jerry Williams. Jerry takes a low shot, but it's blocked by Noli Marl. Comes out to Francis Milan. He sends it out towards Francis Collins. Francis, 80 yards out. He sends it in towards uh, where uh, Jim, Jim O'Mara has it. Out towards Timmy Ryan. He sends it to Aiden Ryan. Aiden Ryan. Sends a high ball and it's over the bar. A great point by Aidan Ryan for the pass from Timmy, Timmy Ryan. <coughs> Nolly Maher there brought off a fantastic saving goals from a shot from Jerry Willems. The ball went up the field. A pass from Timmy Ryan to Aidan Ryan and he sent it over the bar. Ball is poked out by Tony Shepard. Francis Collins having a great game at centre field. Ball comes to Aidan Ryan. Aiden has bottled up in the middle of the field. Dickie Stakelin has the ball. Ball goes to Jerry Stapleton. Comes out towards number, number 10, Jerry Williams. Francis Milan has the ball. Comes to Bobby Ryan. 
<coughs> ball out to Aidan Ryan. Aidan Ryan gets the ball down the field. Dini O'Mara blocks it. The ball goes to Connor Stakeland. To John Cal. Out towards Enda Hogan. And the rounds Timmy Ryan. Sends the ball in. Her Timmy Stapleton blocks it down. Comes to Eamon O'Shea. The ball goes out to Michael Ryan. Out to Jim Williams. Jim has the ball. He sends it out towards Philip Quinlan. Francis Villanga comes out of the ball. And he sends the ball out into the middle of the field. Great stop and the Boris Lee goes there. Jim O'Mara has the ball. He gets it up this side of the field where Francis Collins goes for the ball. Francis steadies himself. Sends a low ball over towards Noel Dwyer. Goes to Philip Kenny. And Philip Kenny has been grounded there by Dini O'Mara. Must be a free in, I think, for Boris Lee. Dini O'Mara grounded Philip Kenny there. There was no, no missing there at all. I wonder what the referee will do. I think it's a free in for Boris Lee. No, the wire is going to take it. Steady the usual finish, Kenny. Noel sends a high one and sends it over the bar. Boris Lee have extended their lead to seven points to four. You must remember, though, that Killer One are after losing about two chances at goals before this. But still credit to Boris Lee. They're still seven points to four ahead as Tony Shepard takes the puck out. It's blocked down to Timmy Ryan. Timmy Ryan, but Jim O'Mara has the ball. Sends a high ball. The ball comes out to Eamon O'Shea. He's on the 14-yard line. He sends the ball across the goals. The ball goes harmlessly wide. Eamon, I think, there got a bit of the jitters. He saw Timmy Stapleton on his way across him. Puck out by Noli Maher. Out towards Noli Maher goes for it. Ball goes to Michael Hogan. Michael sends it over, far side of the field, but the ball has gone over the line. It's a line ball to Boris Lee. This one to be taken, I suppose, by Bobby Ryan. And the cry from the Boris support is Boris, Boris. Bobby Ryan takes this line ball. Sends it over to Jerry Stapleton. Jerry lets it go on to Francis Collins. Francis has the ball in the centre of the field. Sends it in towards Noel Dwyer and, and John McGrath. John McGrath has the ball. Takes a shot, but he sends the ball wide. And the referee blows his whistle for half time to score Boris Lee seven points, killer one four. Personally, must be very satisfied with their first half performance. With Philip Kenny contributing a lot. Also, at the centre of the field, Francis Collins and Timmy Ryan playing um, Francis Collins exceptionally well. And of course, Aidan Ryan picked off two lovely pints. Their backs are playing quite soundly. Timmy Stapleton and Jerry Stapleton shining out very well.
here, a gentleman here, he's doing commentary on the other side. Uh, what do you think of the affair so far? It's a uh, good, honest to goodness hurling. Uh, both teams are giving all their best, and I think that uh, it's going to be a good, I'd say, if not even better, second half, because I think the teams are playing as a team unit. There's no individual performances, and both teams are putting it 110% effort into everything they do. What do you think of the play of uh, Timmy Stapleton at fullback? Timmy Stapleton is covering well, playing well, as his two cornerbacks, Michael Ryan, playing very well. But I think Timmy has the ability to get the ball in high, that long high ball coming in. <coughs> He's also the ability to round uh, Paddy Bowler Willems and bring the ball out when, when the need arises. But I think my, my man in the match in the first half, my man who I'm sure did more than, anything, did more than his share, and that was centre field man Aidan Ryan. I think Aidan is prowling and challenging all the time. OK. That's one report from, uh, we try and get a neutral here for a second. A match analysis from uh, a gentleman here, a neutral, as I say. He'll give us a few words. Uh, what do you think of the match as uh, it goes for the first half? first half? Very exciting, very fast hurling. And Boris Lee, they're on, they're on song at the moment, first to the ball. They're picking the scores when the opportunity arrives and they should win it. What do you think of uh, Timmy Stableton at fullback and Jerry? Very good. They're whole way up the centre. Full back, centre back, centre field. They're playing very well. But John McGrath seemed to, be, seemed to have been out of it in the first half there in the corner. But now he's come more into when they brought him out centre. What do you yeah. think of the play of, of uh, playing Philip Kenny inside full forward? Very good. He's given O'Mara a hell of it. He's scored three points off O'Mara off a play. And that's good now for a first half. Of course, half. The, the, the change, the, the new uh, Timmy Ryan was brought on from the start at centre field. But how do you think uh, his partnership with uh, Francis Collins wonder, work, work and wonders. Tremendous they are, yeah. Well, Kill Ryan don't seem to be able to get into it. Is it that they're not allowed to get into it or what? You know, they just don't seem to seem to be allowed to get into the game. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Well, you're hoping for a good second half anyway. Yeah, yeah, as good as the first half. Thanks very much. Now, as the Bacarkey Pipe Band play under the stand, we'll let you listen to some music. the field for the start of the second half. Timmy Stapleton coming the last out. As we look up at the clock, it's two minutes to two minutes to twenty past four for the start of the second half of the nineteen eighty six county final between Kilrawan and Borisali. Seems to be no changes on either team. Timmy Ryan gets the ball. He sends it, off. it goes to Francis Collins. Francis has the ball out in the middle of the field. It goes out towards Mick Cohen. And Seamus Gibson. They're having a right old tussle inside there. Tony Shepard takes the puck out. A long one. Timmy Ryan blocks it down. Down to Noel the Wire. Noel the Wire gets it on the ground. Connor Stakeland sends it over towards uh, Philip Kenny. Philip Kenny goes for the ball. He rounds his man. He's taken it through. He sends the ball high, and it's a first score for Borussia. A score by uh, Philip Kenny. 
Nice ball from Connor Stakelham across. And Philip playing very well at full forward at the moment. I think along with Francis Collins, Timmy Stapleton and Jerry Stapleton, there are trump cards at the moment, and Aidan Ryan. Tony Shepherd takes the puck out. Richard Stakelham has it, a great catch by Dickey. Sends it up where Gilbert Williams has it. Gilbert, in the centre of the field. Sends it in where Jerry Stapleton goes for the ball. Jerry gets it over to this side of the field where Michael Hogan goes for it. Michael loses it. It goes to Connor Stakelin. Connor has it. And the halfway line steadies himself. Looks up to where Mick Hohn is going in for it. Mick Hohn with... And Michael Cohn is beaten. Comes to Jerry Williams. Jerry sends the ball over to the far side of the field where Francis Flan has it. Francis goes out over the line, a line ball to Killer One. Good start to the game by Boris Lee. Boris Lee ahead by four pints. Eight pints to four. This line ball to be taken by Joe Banahan. A low one. It goes to Francis Collins. He misses it. It comes to Bobby Ryan and Richard Stakelin. Richard Stakelin gets it on the far side of the field. Richard gets it along the ground. It goes to Gilbert Williams. Gil Gilbert over to Jim O'Mara. Jim O'Mara gets it along the ground. Where it comes to Jerry Stapleton. And comes over to Michael Ryan. Michael up at this side of the field. Where Connor Stigler, or, uh, Michael Hogan goes for it. He sends a low ball over to Jerry Stapleton. Jerry gets it to Joe Banahan. Joe Banahan beats Francis, uh, is chased by Francis Collins. The ball goes in low into Michael Ryan. Michael comes out for it. The ball goes to Bobby Ryan. Bobby, a low ball. It comes to um, Gilbert Williams. Gilbert gets it into Bobby Ryan again. Bobby cleaning up an off lot. Over to John McGrath. The ball runs through to Philip Kenny. Philip has it. 21 yards off and the killer line goes. He's going through. He's taken down. Or is he? He has the ball again. He gets it. A great point from Philip Kenny. That's what good scores are like. Boris Ali, nine pints, killer one, four pints. Tony Shepard comes out to puck out the ball. Sends it out, a long one. Timmy Ryan goes for it. Francis Collins gets it. And Timmy Ryan gets it again. And Timmy gets it again. Out to Connor Stakelin. Stalemate out in the centre of the field, but Francis Collins gets it again. Up towards Aidan Ryan. Uh, uh, Francis Collins has it now. He sends it in to Jim O'Mara goes for it. Jim loses it. Out to John McGrath. John McGrath 40 yards out. 30 yards out. Sends a high ball. And he sends it wide. Oh, that was a great chance for John there. <laughs> I see uh, Len Gaynor going in to make uh, Seamus. Hennessy seems to be coming into the game for Killer One. They need to make a substitution at this stage of the match. And who's going off? Joe Banahan. Uh, Seamus Hennessy replaces Joe Vanahan. <coughs> Tony Shepard takes the puck out. Ball comes to Richard Stakelin. He gets it along the ground to Noel Dwyer. Noel Dwyer to, to Aidan Ryan. Aidan has the ball. Sends a high ball again, Boris. Uh, missing a lot of scores from that position. Boris Lee, five pints ahead. Tony Shepard takes the puck out. Stalemate there as Bobby Ryan gets the ball up towards Noel Dwyer. Ball comes in towards Eamon O'Shea. Eamon O'Shea, 40 yards out. He's chased by Michael Ryan. 
Maybe the shake gets a good shot in. And the ball has gone wide. A lot of missed chances on both sides, mostly from the Boris Lee side. As John McGrath switches with Noel the wire again. They don't need them small. Ball comes out to the centre of the field. Philip Quinlan has the ball. He's beaten by, by John McGrath. Bobby Ryan comes out to Philip Quinlan. Eamon O'Shea has the ball. He's hooked by Richard Stakeham. The ball comes to Bobby Ryan. He knows it. And the ball goes across the far side of the field. Where Francis Villan goes for it. Francis gets it out to Francis Collins. Francis is under centre, um, 30 yards out from the goal. He's chopped and it's a free out for Boris Lee. It just takes him to take this free. Borussia Lee want to be mounting up the scores. John McGrath goes for it. He gets it. Seamus Hennessy gets the ball. In towards Paula Williams and Timmy Stapleton. The ball breaks between them. It's out to Francis Villan. Francis gets it out to the side of the field where Bobby Ryan comes to it. Bobby lets, hits the ball, but the ball goes out over the line. It's the line ball to... Uh, line ball to Killer One to be taken by Michael Hogan. Michael cuts it across the goals to Philip Kendi, or comes out to number 10. Sends the ball, it goes in, it goes over the bar. It's a nice point there for Keller One. Boris Lee want to keep hurling all the time. They're inclined to fall down a little. Johnny Maher takes the puck out. Out to Jim Williams. Jim Williams gets it up towards Timmy Stapleton. Timmy comes out. Timmy gets the ball, but Seamus Hennessy gets it. The ball comes to Connor Stakel, to Michael Hogan. Michael back in towards Michael Ryan. The ball comes to Philip Kenny. Philip Quinlan. Philip Quinlan takes a shot. The ball has gone wide. It's a good chance for Killer One there. The ball comes to Richard Stakel. Richard, the long ball up the far side of the field. The ball goes comes to Philip Kenny. Philip has the ball. He rounds Dini O'Mara again. Philip takes a shot. The ball goes, is blocked out for a 70 by uh, Tony Shepard. Ten minutes gone in the second half. The 70 by Richard Stakelham, nearly dead straight in front of the Killer One goals. Strikes a high ball, but this time it goes wide. <coughs> Tony Shepard again takes the puck out. Richard Sagan goes up and catches it. Ball comes out to Francis Collins. Francis sends a low ball. In towards Connor Stakeland. In towards Noel the Wire. Noel the Wire has the ball on the 21 yard line. Ball goes into John McGrath. And from a great chance there for Boris Lee, the ball comes down to where Philip Quinlan has it. But Dickie Stakeland beats him. Comes out here to number 10. Jerry Williams, or number 19. I'll get you his name in a minute. Michael Ryan has the ball. Captain of Boris Lee. Passes it to Bobby Ryan. Bobby Ryan gets the ball. A low one. Out towards John McGrath. John McGrath. But uh, Seamus Gibson has the ball. Instead of going for his score, he's too much passing. Francis Collins blocks it down. 
Well, McCone goes for it. The ball goes along the ground. It goes to, to number 19. Jerry Stapleton has the ball. The stalemate out there. Bobby Ryan goes for it. Number nine, Indo Hogan has it. 30 yards out. Sends a ball into Nolly Maher. Nolly Maher gets it out to this side of the field where Conor Stakelham and Michael Hogan goes for it. It breaks to Conor Stakelham. Conor moves up along the... The ball goes out over the line. It's a line ball to Boris Lee. <coughs> Line ball to Boris Lee to be taken by Timmy Ryan. Timmy Ryan to take the line ball. Sends it up along the ground. Goes out over the line again. It's a line ball to Killer Rowan. Timmy leaves this one for Bobby Ryan. Bobby comes up to it. A high one in towards Aidan Ryan. Ball comes to Conor Stakeland, but it's hit out by John Cahill. Out towards Michael Hogan. Michael along the ground. But Mick Hohen has the ball. Mick into Conor Stakeland. Conor on the 21 yard line. He sends the ball across the goals. The ball goes into Seamus Gibson has the ball. Seamus gets a clearance out towards this side of the field where it comes towards. Bowler Willems. Ball well, comes to Jerry Stapleton, but the ball goes out over the line. It's a line ball to. A line ball to Killer Rowan. Matches at a very tense stage now. The next score could make an awful difference to either team. Michael Hogan takes this line ball. A good one across the goals. Francis Blanc gets the ball out. Her Dickie Stakelham goes for it. Dickie has the ball now. Sends a good ball up towards Aidan Ryan. John Cahill has the ball. Ball comes out to Eamon O'Shea. Eamon O'Shea, a high ball in towards the Boris Lee goals. But the ball goes wide. Killer one seems to be getting an awful lot of wides at this time. Boris Lee would nearly need a fresh pair of legs, I would think, in the forward line. <coughs> Maybe someone like uh, Brendan Kenny for a while. John McGrath has the ball. Goes high. Sends it out towards Noel Dwyer. Noel sends it on to John McGrath again. A great pass. John has deflection. A deflection there for John McGrath when he could have passed it into Connor Stakelum. <coughs> and they 70 to, be to, to be, 70 to be taken by to be taken by Richard Stakelum. Paddy there, dial in there, giving instructions. Richard Stakelin takes this free. A high one. And it's gone wide again. Two good chances there for Boris Lee. Breaks to Eamon O'Shea. Eamon O'Shea has the ball. He goes through Jerry Stapleton. Bobby Ryan comes out to meet him, but Eamon O'Shea gets his shot in. Ball comes out there to Timmy Stapleton. Timmy bustles his way out. The ball comes out towards Francis Milan. Francis sends the ball on the ground. So Francis Collins hits the ball out over the line. It's a line ball to Killer One. Looks as though Timmy Ryan has gone back. Corner back. I wonder did the, the, the Boris Lee select to see what's going on. A good cut there by Seamus Hennessy. Bobby Ryan.
Ryan has the ball. Bobby sends the ball out towards the far side of the field. Seamus Hennessy has it. Sends it in towards number 19 for Killer One. And that's in. Ball comes out to Francis Collins. Out towards Aidan Ryan. Aidan has the ball. Sends it low along the ground. Out to F Philip Kenny. Philip. It's Bill Gil Gilbert Williams. Philip is still going through. 40 yards off from the killer line goes, and that's a great point by Philip Kenny. A tremendous point by Philip Kenny. Now we have double scores. Barcelona 10 points, killer one, five points. <coughs> Tony Shepard pucks the ball out towards the centre of the field. And the match, Philip Kenny. Francis Collins has it up towards Connor Stakeland and then the Hogan. And the Hogan gets the ball that comes out to Bowler Willems. Sends a high ball in towards the Boris League goals. Francis Milan has it out to Philip Quinlan. Philip sends the ball across the goals. And Bobby Ryan is after saving the day again for Boris Lee. Ball comes to Richard Stakelham. Richard gets the ball out towards Philip Kenny. Philip Caden Ryan. Aiden Mann, but Michael Hogan has it. He's beaten. Michael Cohn. Oh, well, that looks to be a ground ball there. Great stuff, isn't it? Ah, yeah, they're playing well. They're playing well. <laughs> Twelve minutes left in the first, in the second half. Bursley had ten points to five. Gilbert Williams gets the ball. Gets it down towards the far side of the field. Well, Richard Stakeland gets it. A great catch by Diggy. Sends the ball. 60 yards up. Up towards John McGrath. And Noel Dwyer. Noel Dwyer is held. And Connor Stakeland has it. Gets it to Noel Dwyer again. Free in for Boris Lee. Number 17 is coming on the, onto the field for Killer One. That's David Quinlan. to take this free. Sends a high one, it sends it over to Barrett and that gets the score. 11 points to Marcelli, 5 to Killer Ramon. Tony Shepard takes the puck out. Comes out to where Timmy Ryan goes up for it. Bobby Ryan has the ball. Sends it along the ground, along to Connor Stakelham. Connor into Philip Kenny. Philip lets it go along the round, up to John McGrath. John McGrath rounds John. Uh, Jim Denny O'Mara gets the ball out to uh, Jerry Stapleton. Stapleton has it. Jerry gets it back up the field. The Boris Hilly Farmers don't be looking, but seem to be looking where they're going. Eamon O'Shea has the ball. But Eamon is fouled by Francis Milan. as a free in to Killer One. Still ten minutes left in the second half. Free by Gilbert Willems. 65 yards out from the Boris Lee goal. Strikes a low one. Goes out there to number 17, David Quinlan. That's a line ball too. It looks to be a free. The referee was very slow there and blowing his whistle. It's a free in for Killer One. Morris Lee would want to start concentrating and not looking around the field. Shem Hennessy takes this free and sends the ball wide. Morris Lee, six points ahead at the moment. But would want to keep putting on the pressure all the time. 
as Killer One if they can get if they get a goal. They can be very dangerous. Only Mar has the ball. Noli takes a good long puck out. Ball comes to Noel the wire. Noel gets it along the ground. Down to out towards McCone. McCone sends it into Noel the wire. Sends it over to Aiden Ryan. Aiden Ryan 50 yards out and sends the ball over the bar. Yes, Barcelona are really hurling now. Barcelona 12 pints, Killer 1 6 pints. And the cock has definitely come to roost. Jerry Stanley gets the ball up towards Aiden Ryan. Aiden sends it along the ground. In towards Mick Cohn and Seamus Gibson. It's a free two, killer of one. To be taken by Gilbert Willems. <coughs> Gilbert sends a high one. Up goes Bobby Ryan for it. Stalemate there as Bobby Ryan or uh, Francis Collins. And David Quinlan fall on the ball. It's a throw in. Ball comes up to Connor Stakelin. It goes out to number number ten, Jerry Williams. The ball goes to Timmy Ryan. Timmy Ryan pulls on number nine. Ender Hogan. This looks very bad indeed for Boris Ali. Sending off at this uh, stage of the match wouldn't do Boris Ali any good. <laughs> Ender Hogan is being called as well over by the referee. So it doesn't look as though Timmy Ryan could be getting the line. The referee having a chat there with number nine, Ender Hogan, and having a chat with Timmy Ryan as well. He's giving a long lecture over there. And everything seems to be all right as far as Burris are concerned. Timmy Ryan gets the ball again, but... Free in to Killer One. Number 19, I think, Jim Williams. Bobby Ryan there, I want to get back to his man and pick him up. They're all pointing at each other to go back and mark, lads. Seamus Hennessy takes this free. And the ball goes over the bar. It's a pint for Killer One. Just over five minutes left in the game. Boris Ali ahead by six pints. As Noli Mahar takes the puck out. <coughs> Comes out to this side of the field where Aiden Ryan goes for it. Aiden puts up his hand, a great catch by Aiden. Goes to Noel the wire to Philip, Philip Kenny. Philip Kenny has the ball. And it's a free end for a foul by Seamus Hennessy on Philip Kenny. Philip definitely seems as though he could get man of the match today. Paddy Dial going in, 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 issuing instructions there to Aiden Ryan. As Noel the Wire puts the ball over the bar, the chant is, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nearly. 13 pints to Bur Boris Lee, 6 pints to Killer One. Tony Shepard takes the puck out. Comes out towards Bobby Ryan and Jim Williams.
Jim Williams has the ball. He's going through. 40 yards off from the goals. Sends it out to her. Ball goes out over the line. It's a, it's, ball has gone wide. A good run there by Jim Williams, but known to avail of, his, of, of the opportunity. This Boris Lee team seemed to be a lot rugged and a lot livelier than they were in the North semi-final when Killer One beat him convincingly. Ball comes to an all the wire from Jim Williams. John McGrath. John McGrath gets the ball along the ground. It's a line ball to Killer One, I think. Should have been. No, it's a throw-in. Ball comes to Gilbert Williams. Gilbert. Sends it into where Jerry Stapleton goes for it, Michael Ryan. Ball comes to Jim Williams. Francis Blaine gets it to Bobby Ryan. Bobby sends a high ball. A long ball. Goes into Philip Kenny. Philip Kenny has the ball. Goes to Mick Hohn. Mick Hohn has it. Connor Stakelham has it. Connor coming out the field, but he turns back and evades Jim Williams. Connor sends a high ball. Yes, and he sends it over the bar. A great point by Connor Stakelham. There must be great strength in this cock that they have brought today. Tony Shepard takes the puck out. Jerry Stapleton has the ball. Jerry gets it up along the field, but he's fouled. A dirty pull as usual. Personally, 14 pints, killer one, six pints. Richard Stakelin to take the free. Low ball to Philip Kenny. Philip has the ball 40 yards out. Sends a low ball in towards Tony Shepherd. Tony is fouled coming out, and there's a free for killer one. Let it be said that this Boris Ali team have put an awful lot of effort and an awful lot of work, and so have the people of the parish put their money where their mouth is. The ball comes to Jim Williams, goes to Indo Hogan. He's bottled up. The ball comes out to the side of the field where Michael Ryan goes for it. Michael gets it along the ground, up towards uh, Michael Hogan. Michael Hogan loses it, goes into Indo Hogan. Indo Hogan is fouled by Michael Ryan, and there's a free in for Killer Owen. To be taken by uh, Gilbert Willems. <coughs> Gilbert into Seamus Hennessy. Seamus Hennessy sends the ball over the bar. Boris Lee slackening off a bit in the, in, the, in the back line when there's a free like that. Timmy Stapleton pucks back in the ball in towards uh, Noli Maher. Timmy didn't seem to have done it. Hadn't had to do as much in the second half as he had in the first half. Noli Maher takes the puck out. Out towards uh, John McGrath. And John, John Cahill has the ball. John loses the ball, but it goes to Inda Hogan. Inda Hogan gets the ball in towards uh, number 12, Eamon O'Shea, who's been very quiet today. Out to Seamus, Ho Seamus Hennessy. He sends the ball in towards Philip Quinlan. But Noli Maher has the ball, he races out. Out the ball, gets the ball out towards Bobby Ryan. Bobby lets it go along the ground to Francis Collins. Francis blocks him down, and it's a line ball, or is it a, a linesman's ball? Yes. With time running out now, for a killer one. Jim Williams. He fouls uh, as Nicky takes him. Ball comes back towards. He gets the ball across the goals. And a great save again by Noli Maher. A great save in the Boris goal by Noli Maher. It's a 70 for killer one. Ursula again have shown there that their slackness 
in the back when they're being pressurised. A minute over time. It seems now as though Borussia Lee have definitely got their revenge on that big defeat in Nina in the North semi-final when Killer One annihilated them. But today the annihilation is on the other end as Gilbert Williams takes this free. He drops it. Comes into number nine into Hogan. The ball goes out to Michael Ryan. Michael Ryan is harried. The ball comes out to Timmy Ryan. And Michael Ryan again. Out towards Aidan Ryan. That's a free. It's a free to Boris Lee. For a foul by Michael Hogan. seen celebrations in Boris Lee before, but there will be none celebrated so sweetly than this county final of 1986. We have definitely got the hoodoo well and truly buried today. The young lads are all out in the field with excitement. The score, Boris Lee 14 pints, Killer 1 7 pints. Double score. As the Killer One team dejected come back in after this defeat. Boris. Chantal Boris. Lee go on now, I think, to meet the Cork champions. Will we, will we and we we'll let you over to the cameraman for a minute. And next of all, Bobby Ryan. Well done, Jerry. Come on, Timmy Ryan. Well done. Well done, Connor. Come on, 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 Connor. It is my privilege, as Chairman of County Board, to make the presentation to our County Senior Hurling Champions of 1986, Boris Ali. Yeah! Before I do so, I wish to thank and compliment everyone associated with the organisation of today's programme. I want in particular to congratulate two excellent minor teams, Toomey Vara and McCarthy Boris. And I think at the end of a tremendous hour's hurling, we got probably the fairest result with a draw, and each of them will have another opportunity at a later date. I would like to thank our officials, both referees and our officials, for carrying out their duties in a competent and efficient manner. I would like to thank everyone who attended our games here today, and I might say that the sun has shone on Tiberi Hurling today. Let's hope in the Munster Championship that it will continue to shine under the leadership of Boris Lee. Boris and Lee have taken the honours here today, but let's spare a thought for the gallant runners-up, Killer One McDonough. Killer One McDonough have been the most consistent club in this county for many, many years. In fact, coming into today's game, they had won 27 games out of 28. It's a splendid record, and we salute a great team, even in defeat. Well, the principal message is that Boris Lee are back and that Boris Lee and that they're worthy 
and deserving champions. And I might say that earlier in the year, I didn't, anyone wouldn't have put money on Boris Lee to win the championship. And I think there is tremendous, there is, there is tremendous credit due to the selectors and management of the team because after two heavy defeats, they saw that they had potential and they ensured that on the day, before the year was out, they would get that potential from them. I think it could also be said that Boris Lee for the last 10 years have not realised the full potential that they had. It was smouldering under the surface. Today it ignited and they're worthy champions. It now gives me great pleasure to ask Michael Ryan to accept the Dan Breen Cup on behalf to accept the Dan Breen Cup on behalf of himself, his teammates, his club and the parishioners of Boris Lee. Michael Ryan now receives the cup from Michael Lowry, chairman of the uh, Tipperary County Board. John, how, John, how do you feel after the match? I shall not too bad, Johnny. A bit tired. Fairly relieved that we won. Some performance by the back line, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. they played very well. Definitely. And as he lifts the cup aloft, the Dan Green Cup for the winners, Boris Lee. And winter Boris Lee is a card again. All hours are on Cornshaw at Locker, her son, Fincher, Shinja Boris Lee. I'd like to, secondly, I'd like to thank everybody, and I mean everybody, that helped to bring this cup to Boris Lee, and there did a lot of people help. Our first man to be thanked is Paddy Dyne. Our three selectors, you all know who they are. Um, all the players, subs included. All our supporters. I think we've often let down our supporters in our past, but I think this one will make up for it all. We've been waiting a long time for this one, and I think it's well worth waiting for. Um, as regards Killer One, I'd like to compliment them on their fine achievements over the last 12 months, and I can assure them that we'll make every effort to, to achieve every bit as much, if not more. But like, give three cheers for Killer One. Hey, Bip! Hey! 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 Thank you very much. Oh, so Michael uh, Lowry is um, going to announce the winners of the Man of the Match Award which has been sponsored by Frost of Nina. Connor Stakelam here, a minor on the tip, um, minor team this year. Connor, how do you feel after the match? Absolutely delighted, delighted to be well. Biggest thrill, I suppose, of all definitely, time. Definitely, And Timmy Ryan, the man that came back from the dead. Timmy. Great, came back the right day, John. Came back definitely the right day. No. And Philip Penny is awarded the man of the match. By Frost and Donald Shanahan now presents the trophy to Philip Kenny. This was previously won by Noel O'Dwyer. On for it! Two occasions. Nolly, how do you feel after the match? Oh, I feel fine. <laughs> Be tired. Right, made a couple of great saves at uh, 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 an important time in the first half. How did you feel about the first one from Jerry Williams? Was it a hard one? Ah, it was a bullet, though. I was lucky to get to it. <laughs> I think it's one of the best finals that we had in recent years. And I think the Boris Lee brought tremendous glamour and excitement to it. With a tremendous crowd, I think the biggest crowd that we've had for, I think it's eight years. And I think at the end of the day, there was only one team in it and they deserved our victory. Hurling has, has improved an awful lot in Boris Lee for this game today. Would you think so? Would you think so, Michael? Yes, I think that Killer One have been, uh, have been worthy champions there for a number of years. And uh, I suppose the majority of people like to have a change, whether it's good or not, but I have no doubt that Boris Ali have talented players, they have plenty of ability, and we hope that they will give the leadership they require to win a Munster Championship. I have no doubt that they'll do that. When, when, um, when do you expect the Munster uh, semi-final to be on, or who are they playing? Uh, the date has, I'm not quite sure yet, but the, the, date, or the, date, the date has been fixed, but I'm not sure of the opposition as yet. It shouldn't be known until all the championships are over. Where will the match be held? Well, that will depend on who the opposition are. But wherever they are, I'm sure Boris will be ready and willing to take them on. Uh, Thanks very much, Michael Lowley, Chairman of the... Tipperary County Board. Firstly, is this your proudest moment? 
but uh, absolutely, John. Um, we waited a long time for it, and it's the sweetest one yet. As we said during the week, after all the preparations that had been put in, that there was no way we could see ourselves losing today. I brought a crowd of boys from, from the big city with me, and I promised them that they wouldn't be back in time for work in the morning, and I can I guarantee you they won't be back in time, or either will I. Will they flood yours tonight? Absolutely, and we'll cut a few new discs, <laughs> steel, wood ones, and the whole lot. Thanks very much. We have Larry Ryan here. Larry, a great supporter of Boris Lee Harlan. Larry, great Larry. victory. Great victory, John. Uh, uh, great thrill, but I uh, couldn't enjoy it. Too close to the team. But uh, at the same time, of course... Um, you were too much involved in... Too much in involved, too, too, too close. But uh, it was a tremendous victory, and I uh, hope to keep you alive for a few more years. Well, of course. I'm Thanks. Only 70 years. Is that all? You don't look a day old. I, I might see the all. And uh, we have uh, Mick Hone here at the back. Mick Hone... Uh, <laughs> the, man that had a, the man that nearly went to ground at, the, at um, the town goals in the first half himself and Seamus Gibson I thought they were going ferreting for something Mick, how did you enjoy the game? Oh it was brilliant, a great game all around John uh, everyone gave their, their lot it was no, no, no surrender, no surrender. This, this makes up for 1977 Oh this is the best one of all Yeah, this is, this is the one. Thanks very much Mick <laughs> and coach of the Boris Lee team, Paddy, who came to Boris Lee just after Killer One had humiliated Boris up in Nina in the North semi-final. Paddy, did you ever think that we could win by so much or even beat Killer One? Well, well I was confident that, that Boris would beat uh, Killer One right from the very first day I came out because I knew that the enthusiasm and the, the ability was in Boris Lee. It was only a case of uh, getting it out. And uh, it wasn't just myself. Uh, I felt that everybody involved, the committee, the selectors, everybody was, was, uh, had a big, a big part to play in uh, winning this match for Boris. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of the, the full back line, or the whole back the line in general? Every, every position. I, I, I honestly felt, and I'm not just saying this now in the excitement of the occasion, but I honestly felt that uh, Boris Lee beat Killer One in every position down the field. Every position, yeah. yeah. Jerry Stapleton had, uh, to me, probably his best match. Without a doubt, yeah, yeah. Well, we were telling Jerry that, that we knew he had, he had more ability than Jim Williams, and he showed it today. And, I mean, there was, I, I could keep naming him off. Uh, Philip Kenny was outstanding. And yes, we, there's, there's, so many, there's so many good players. I mean, we know the likes of, of Bobby and Aidan, and we, we know they, they have Timmy Stapleton, and they have the ability. But, to me, the man that really got Boris going today and inspired him was, was uh, young Francis Collins in the middle of the field. Because Francis, anyone would admit, Francis probably hasn't, he's not as gifted as the rest of them. But right from the throw-in today, he was my man of the match. He was a star. Yes, without, without a shadow of doubt. Mm. Uh, the playing of Philip Kenny at full forward. Yeah. Paid off handsomely. Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. Well, that was, I think, you know, mainly, uh, I, I, you could give most credit, I think, to Billy Devaney for that. Billy was advocating that right from the very start, and, well, after a lot of talk and everything else, it came around. But Billy had a lot to do with that. What do you think of their chances in the club final? I'm not even thinking of that. I'm not even thinking of the Wonder County final. And to be great to, to emulate what, what, what Killer One has uh, done, but the county final was the first thing, and... You know, we'll take every match as a come. I don't even know who they're playing next, but uh, every match is a come. Thank you very much, okay. Paddy Dyle, Hi, trainer okay. of Boris Lee. From Tipperary Hurling, uh, Pat Stakelam here, and Paddy Kenny, of course, the famous Boris Lee hurler. Uh, Pat, first of all, your assessment of the game and how it yeah. went. Well, I thought it was one of the best county finals for years. Entertainment value was high. Absolutely tremendous. Credit to both teams. Boris Lee, it was their day. They had to fight. They hunted in packs. Every man contributed. Absolutely from goalie out. And the goalie in a big way. He saved a few vital, one very important one early on. And it was the determination, the willingness to have a go, to get in there. That's what decided it. And fair play to kill one. They brought the very best out of Boris Lee today. Would you think, Paddy, there was a big change in some of the Boris Lee hurlers? between today and on the last occasion that they met? Well, John, I was actually at the last match and I put down the defeat, to, to use an old expression that's always used, that Borussia Lee funked him. 
but they certainly didn't funk Killer Lawan today. Whatever got into them today, they didn't funk him, and I think that was the win of the match. Well, Sali can huddle with anybody, and they have the guts of anybody, but they never produced it until today, and now that they have done that, I think they'll go a long way. That's my opinion. Um, this is, of course, this is a tremendous field to play, and probably one of the best fields in the country. How, would this game have done a lot for hurling in Tipperary? There's no doubt about it. Games like this is needed, and especially in Mid-Tipperary, which is the poor relation of Tipperary's hurling power. The pity is that hurling here has, has, has gone. You're playing a division short, actually, the major division, and this should uh, do the world for the game. And I would say the fact that it was played here was in, uh, to a bit in Boris Lee's favour, that the wide open space is the fast ball, and they had the, the foot on killed one today, and I would say it was a factor. Yes. Uh, uh, Boris Lee came up probably trumps when they played your nephew Philip in full forward. Yeah, it was a good move, I'd say, because uh, they had, I, I'd say his father had a big say in that because when I was, I happened to be training a lot more this year and he told me that the one weak link in Killer One was their full back and they put a good huddle in there and it, worked, it apparently appeared right anyway, what he did. And, and so I say the father must have had a say in getting him in full forward, although he's not a selector. <laughs> Would you think their, their choice of having uh, um, Timmy Ryan at centre field proved effective? It certainly did. For a man of his, not in, in, in his prime year-wise, he gave a mighty contribution. You need a steal there, and Timmy provided the steal. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Mick Honan and Seamus Gibson had a right old tussle inside in the corner. They had, I saw that, and actually, I, uh, I'm always preaching a bit of toughness into any team. And... Uh, I was delighted to see it worked out that McCall was still standing when the thing happened. And those things are important and the whole Bullis team came to life after that incident. They suddenly discovered that they were as good a men as anyone, which they are. And well able to stand up to any bit of toughness that comes in. And there you have from probably two of the greats of Tipperary hurling. That's it from Turles for the moment. The club, Tom, would you give us your impression of the match in a quick few words? Uh, it's very hard to express myself in a few words because I mean uh, there was a lot of action packed into the 60 minutes. But um, from the word go, I think we 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 caught hold and we held on to that hold. We tackled in it, we tackled them. We didn't get we didn't give them any any chance of loose balls coming into our, our in, into into our backline. So um, this was drilled into them by.